What do you want to do next? I want Javante Davis, a 140. You really think you're ready for that? Yes, I want my 140. What, why do you think you're ready for that after 13 fights? I mean, what, he got it at 16, no? I have 14 now. So I'm ready for it. Time to stop him. I'm going to knock him out. You think it's realistic? I know it is. I know, I know what he can do, but I know what I can do. I'm a lot stronger. You are tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. If you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like the video, share the video. Big shout out to my guys, VP Shane, and Boxing First Vlog. The website is out, G5JeffTV.com. When you get a chance, definitely go check that out. And this video is sponsored by my boy, Fast Classic. His single just dropped. You just heard it in the beginning of this video. The link for the single is going to be in the bio of my Instagram, which is at G5JeffTV. Now, you just heard Roly Romero call out Javante Tank Davis and... <laughs> Listen, um, people almost was offended that Roly called out Tank. Like, <laughs> like people just people don't like Roly. Like people don't like Roly, and it's for various reasons. You could pick one. Uh, people don't like his attitude. People think he's arrogant. People think he don't have boxing skills. People think Roly's garbage. People think that he's just too awkward to be good. People think Roly talk too much. People don't like Roly's voice. Like, it's just a lot of things that people don't like about Roly. So when he called out Tank, people was just really pissed off. Like, they was really pissed off that he had the nerve to call out Tank. Now, under normal circumstances, I would have been pissed off as well. But... These aren't your normal circumstances. And let me explain why. In a perfect world, we want Tank to fight the Josh Taylors, the Jose Ramirez, the Vasil Lomachenkos, the Tiafimo Lopez, the Ryan Garcias, the Devin Haney's. Hell, we'll even take Tank and Jojo Diaz. Tank and Emmanuel Tagu. That's what my boy Boxing First Vlog. But there's a lot of fights that we want to see Tank in. That are mega fights. That are huge fights. But we're not going to see. We're not going to see any of those fights. For this one reason. Floyd Mayweather specifically said. We're not going to make another company rich. We got a lot of fighters at 130, 135, and 140. We keeping everything in-house. That one comment alone by Floyd Mayweather changed everything. Absolutely everything. And I, I wrote an article about that. Um, you could definitely go on the website, g5jefftv.com. Go check that out. But the thing is... That comment takes all of those opponents I just mentioned out of the equation. So, the biggest fights for Tank under the PBC banner would be like a Chris Colbert if he moved up. A Gary Russell Jr. if he moved up. A Isaac Cruz Gonzalez at 135. And then you got Roley at 140. The one person they might be able to pull for Tank Davis at 140. The biggest name would probably be a Mikey Garcia. Because he's not really affiliated with anybody. But. It's not a lot of choices over there at PBC. For. You know guys that's 130, 135, 144 Tank. In a pay per view realm. Like, PBC has fighters, obviously. But for a pay-per-view run, for them to try to make Tank into a superstar, like a global star, PBC doesn't have a roster at 140 and don't have the roster at 135 to make Tank into that global star that they want for him to be. In order for him to become that global star 
and kind of like an icon in the sport and be financially very well off, they, they go ahead to cross the street. They had to cross the street, and they're going to bring somebody from across the street over to them. Um, so Roley calling out Tank, when you really think about it, it's a possibility. It's really a possibility. And as awkward as Roley is, and as much as people think that he's garbage inside of the ring, like Roley is must see TV inside of that ring because you don't know what he's going to do you don't know what he's going to do he's a guy with power he goes in there winging shots and he'll hit you with a forearm he'll hit you with an elbow he'll hit you with a drop kick if he could inside the ring like he's an old school just nasty fighter like he's just an old school nasty fighter and we've seen guys like him um that are awkward but their their awkwardness it, it brings success. Like, they're good at being awkward. Roley looks like he's good at being awkward. He's good at his own style. Like, he's even he even look weird on the pads. He look weird on the pads. He look weird on the bag. He just looks weird. Like, just technically, he's just not your traditional guy. And that's okay. That's okay if you can make it work. And Roley has definitely made it work. But that awkwardness versus... One of the most dynamic offensive fighters in the sport and tank. Um, that's not a good recipe for uh for Roley. That's not a good recipe at all, but I would like to see it. I'm not gonna lie, I would be entertained by it. And people would buy it just to j people will tune in. I won't say buy it, but they will tune in just to see how bad Tank gonna knock Roley out. Like People want to see Roley get knocked smooth out. And people will tune in just to see Tank try to knock him smooth out. So, as crazy as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, Tank Davis versus Roley Romero, if they put that thing in Atlanta, it probably sells out. Probably sells out. The press conference would be absolutely entertaining because Roley talk his shit. Roly talk his shit. They got a history together because they're both signed to Mayweather Promotions. And I'm pretty sure they've had a sparring match or two. Tank has said in several Instagram videos that Roly is garbage. Straight trash truck juice. And you heard what Roly said in the clip in the beginning of this video. He said, I know what Tank can do, but I know what I can do too. Like, I'm stronger than Tank. At 140, I'm coming to knock him out. And I believe him. I believe he's going to be coming to knock him out. The thing is, is can he land something? Can he land something on Tank that's going to get Tank's attention? Like, we haven't seen anyone get Tank's attention. Now, Roley is a strong guy. Don't get me wrong. Like, he's a strong guy. But at the end of the day, is he good enough to match up with a Tank Davis? Now, me personally, I don't like that fight for Roley. I like it for pure entertainment purposes, but from a actually actual like strategy standpoint, it's a horrible matchup for Roley. Horrible matchup for Roley. I would like to see Roley versus a like a Isaac Cruz Gonzalez if Isaac Cruz Gonzalez decided to move up to 140. Like I think that would be a great fight. Or if Al Heyman let Roley cross the street. If Al Heyman let Roley cross the street. He could have a crazy run. He could fight Ryan Garcia. He could fight Devin Haney. He could fight Richard Comey. He could fight Jojo Diaz. He could fight all of the dudes that that we want Tank to fight. Roley could fight him. You know what I'm saying? So Roley's an interesting name. He's an interesting character. He's he's undefeated, um, and he he plays that that villain card very well. So I, I think. For as many people that don't like Roley, Roley is in a prime position to really get himself into some big fights and get himself into some big opportunities because he's playing that villain role. So we're going to see if this fight going to happen. But if Floyd is going to stick to his guns and everything is going to be in-house, then eventually Tank Davis and Roley Romero is going to happen because there's just not that many options at 140, 135, and 130 for PBC.
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.